I'm going to rearrange this question like this. What are the evolutionary advantages for sheep to have wool grown so much that they cannot even walk? How did sheep live in the wild without being sheared? Okay with that out of the way, here we go. First off, there is no evolutionary advantage to growing wool as sheep do. In fact, it's an evolutionary hindrance, and causes them to be extremely dependent on human intervention to survive. The only advantage that this trait has, is it makes them very attractive to humans. Think about it. For thousands of years, a very good chunk of cloth around the world was produced by using animal hair, or fibrous plants. Woolly sheep have hair that is just perfect for making cloth. So how does this benefit the sheep, if it's in all reality a very horrible trait to have? It means humans will be driven to protect and care for the sheep their entire lives. Because the sheep are so useful to us, we protect them, feed them, and care for their babies. We make their lives as comfortable as possible, and more importantly, we make their lives clean. Thus, we protect them from both physical predators and from sicknesses. We guarantee their survival by linking it with our own. It's a codependency. The sheep need us to be protected and cared for, and shorn, and we humans need to shear the sheep to get the fiber we need to protect ourselves. So by helping sheep, we help ourselves, and vice versa. This is also why woolly sheep are not usually killed, or raised, for meat production. Simply put, if you kill them, you just threw away income. A sheep can only be harvested for meat once. Sheep can be harvested for wool every year or so, for as long as they live. That's a lot of sheep hair, wool. So unlike pigs, who are merely raised to be killed, sheep are raised to be kept until the end of their natural lives. I call that a very successful evolutionary trait. Next up, how did sheep survive in the wild without being sheared, shorn? These breeds have hair slash fur like any other animal and shed it seasonally. It doesn't retain the hair, nor does it grow curly. They don't need to be sheared, because these sheep didn't develop traits to make them codependent on humans to survive. However, that doesn't mean humans don't keep hair sheep. In fact, they are the preferred type when raising feeder sheep, or sheep raised for the slaughter. Because they don't need to be shorn, the farmer doesn't have to worry about that, or the health concerns that their wool can have. Nor do they have to worry about keeping their environment pristine, because they aren't trying to keep their fur clean, clean white wool is easier to dye than dirty wool. They can focus on helping them grow as fast and well developed as possible, so the carcass weight is substantial. In fact, the ancestor of the woolly sheep as we know it today probably looked very much like this. These sheep do produce wool, but they shed it naturally. That sheep isn't diseased, it's just losing old hair and gaining a nice summer coat underneath. The first wool sheep were probably very similar to this, producing curly coats, but losing it naturally by rubbing against trees and rocks, like this modern variety does. Old references to sheep herders also mention that one job of a shepherd was not only to stay with the sheep to protect them, but also to collect the wool that the sheep dropped on the ground. So they didn't need to be sheared and got to enjoy the protection of humans. The wool can mat and cause pain to the sheep if left uncut. It can foster infection, and increase the risk of heat stroke as well as leg injuries. So while some sheep do not need to be shorn, those that do must be, or they will suffer. So, to recap. Some sheep have evolved and been bred to be codependent on humans. We need them, and they need us. It's a very successful evolutionary solution, so long as humans remain interested in their care. If humans were to die out or decide to stop keeping sheep, they would suffer and die out from the complications of their hair. However, there are wild, or more wild-like, breeds of sheep that do not have those traits, and thus survive just fine without human influence. Bonus section. Here are some other cool types of sheep that I came across looking for images. I didn't grab the names, but they sure are interesting. This one, I do remember, is called fat butt sheep, for good reason. Also, while thinking about it, this is another animal very similar in use to sheep, the alpaca. It, too, is sheared for its wool to be used in cloth making. And lastly, because I know there are some people who literally don't know what shearing is. It's where sheep is usually flipped onto its back, 
they get very calm in this position, and then shaved, starting from the underside of the belly, then around the sides, and lastly the back. When finished, the wool will come off in one large blanket, and the sheep, now sporting a new haircut, is released back into the herd. A sheep only half shaved to show the wool growth. There's an animal underneath all that hair.